Hello everyone and welcome back for another edition of 8 Minutes with Aaron. I am of course your host Aaron and today we are going to go over an Amazon package because I'm not feeling that great and to talk about fun days would just be a shame. So let's get rolling with a fresh edition of this guy right here, Aaron. Now, this video was supposed to be about fun days, and that was what I had planned for. I wanted to show you some of the Funko Pops that I brought back with me, because some of them were shipped back, and they won't be here until the end of the week, or maybe next week, because that last day on Saturday, I had no way of getting them back for Sunday, since my flight was start early. I trusted my buddy Miguel, and I know he will send them to me this Friday or Saturday. If not, I'm going to come for that gold coin that you got, buddy. Uh, anyway, let's just talk about something else because I'm not feeling terrific. You see, traveling, going on the plane, going to fun days, waiting in the sun, putting all that sunblock on, I guess I kind of picked up the flu, or I'm just feeling a little under the weather. I don't have a fever, my mucus has no color, so I'm just hoping that it's just a little bit of jet lag and that I'll get over it quickly. Because tonight is Monday Night Raw and I have to stay awake for three hours and not pass the F out. So, since we're not going to talk about the Funko Pops that I got from Fun Days, I figured we would talk about this box over here that I've had sitting from Amazon. We're going to open it up, we're going to go through it, we're going to talk about it, and hopefully it's Funko Pops, and that's something that I meant to bring on my Fun Days trip. So let's open this bad boy up. We're just going to rip it open, we're not going to cut it, none of that shit, na na na. Alright, hey, look at this folks, ho <laughs> ho, we got three little boxes. Now, the reason I have three of them is because when Amazon usually sends me packages, at least two of the three Funko Pops are damaged. I can see from the cardboard out here that it's a little freggled. I don't know what freggled means. I'm just going to say it's a little bit of bumpled up. Bumpled up's a better word for it. Uh, I don't remember what's inside, but as soon as I open this up, we're all going to have an idea of what's in here. I have no idea why my knives and shit aren't on the table, so let's try to get this open in a timely fashion. All right, that's not going to work because I, unfortunately, folks, don't have really good nails. Yep, eight minutes from there doesn't have really good nails. You know why? Because he gets anxiety and he bites them sometimes. All right, let's open this up. Here we go. Ho! Oh! Pop it a boop. Here we go. It is, oh! The Amazon exclusive glow in the dark is Shuski. A tote ski that I can't pronounce the name. Whoa! Now, if you guys do remember this from Baruto, originally it was Jigen and Ishiki was inside his body. And then once Kach and Koji fought him and burned them all alive with the real flame and not chakra flames, this dude came out and started massacring the shit out of everybody. He had the husky ass fight against Baruto and Sasuke. And during that fight, Naruto hit Byron mode at the cost of losing Kurama. Kurama kind of like lied to him and said, listen, uh, uh, Naruto, you're not going to die. I lied. He said, you're going to die. I'm not going to die. This is our last time together. And bada boom, bada bing, he turned Byron mode and smoked the shit out of Shizu, whatever the hell his name is, because every punch that Naruto hit with Byron mode started taking his life away. Now, just looking at the Funko Pop based on the box that that was in, it's not bad. It's actually pretty good. So you know what? I'm not going to open these other two. I'm just going to send them back because I am quite happy with what we got right here. So let's open this bad boy up and get a better look. And as I'm talking about that, I've realized that I still don't have any knife on this table. So I'm going to have to do a big reach out of screen, back in the screen, to get this knife over here. So let's carefully open up the bottom of this carefully. We don't want to mess anything up. Pulling this bad boy out, and yes, I know it is a glow in the dark, and I don't have my light up here, and I'm too far to shut the light, but I promise you, I have all these glow in the dark Funko Pops in a pile, and then one day, I'm just gonna turn off the lights, and we're just gonna shine those some bitches right up and get a better look at them. So here is Ishiki Atasuki. Atasuki. Atasuki, is that how you pronounce it? Hey, he's not a bobblehead, but if you... Oh, what a shame. Does this just come out? I don't think this just comes out of it, folks. Well, actually it does. Hey, check that out. Um, I don't know. I might have to open another one because he's shaking and that thing did just come out of his back. 
Is that supposed to happen? Folks, you let me know down in the comments if these things were actually supposed to come out of their backs. Now, getting a look at him here, I'll hold him up real close to you guys. Hopefully, he's not going to fall off this little pedestal thing. He's actually really detailed. Uh, here's the back of it. Here's his eye. I don't know. That's the eye. If you look at it, he can make things larger and bigger. Small things come out of it, and he can make them really big. Usually, he's using those big rods and trying to stomp on you and shit like that. So, he's not too bad, this uh, Shizu Tutatsuki. Now, he is supposed to be the vessel for Kawaki. So now he does have that little seal. So I'm not sure if he's ever going to come back. But we know with Mama Nosuke inside Baruto, there's some shit that's going on with that. So he might not be dead. Just throwing that out there. This guy might be dead, not be dead. He had that fight with Naruto. And then Baruto kicked the shit out of him. But I don't know what to tell you guys. You know, we're going to open up another one just so I make sure that that thing doesn't really come out of his back. Because if it does, then that's a different story. But if not, well... That's on bitch is getting packed up and going back. And if you guys haven't been reading Baruto, the Twin Vortex, yo, you are slacking. Granted, the original Baruto series had its little hits and misses and then a big-ass downfall. But towards the end, before the time skip, it started getting really good. All right, so we well, got to open this dude up. All right, very carefully. We don't want to fuck shit up. All right, that side wasn't going as much as I wanted it to. Here we go. One, two, three. All right, here we go. Come on, baby. Daddy needs a new pair of the back thing not coming out of it. Oh, oh, it's coming out, baby. All right, so I guess they are removable. Okay, well, oh, wow. If they're removable, hmm, I wonder. <laughs> actually, I have a Marco in the other room where this thing is in his back. Now, if I actually jagged this knife into it, I wonder if I can pop it out and put a new podium post in it. I don't know, folks. Ah, ha, ha. I'm, I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do, but this podium post, I, I don't know. I guess it's in every Funko Pop and it's not glued in. If you know the whole story with these back things, you let me know. But now I got at least one Atutsuki. The boxes are looking good. I'm only going to keep one, which is probably going to be this one because this one has a little... A little pop-up on the top here. But overall, I got to admit, the Funko Pop is pretty decent. It looks pretty cool, right? Right. I would say he would. All right. Now let's get to them ups and them downs. So Amazon, your packaging getting over here. I'm going to say that you are going to have to get in. Oh, that's right. The boxes aren't messed up. They did not come when you said they were. They're kind of delayed. And I could have bought it for a cheaper price off the Funko store because they had it before you, which is extremely odd. Um, but yeah, I'm still going to give you that up here. And then the Ishiki Atsuki. Yay! Check that some bitch out. I'm going to give you an up as well. Now, it's going to glow in the dark and it's going to look a lot cooler. But that's going to have to be for another episode. My name is Aaron. Thank you for joining me with 8 Minutes with Aaron. I will see you next time when we definitely talk about WWE Monday Night Raw if the show isn't too long and I can fit it in to 8 minutes or less. I will see you later. Well, 8, 9 minutes or less. You know what I'm talking about. I'll see you later, folks. Goodbye.